Edie McCready. She's just gone. She's totally gone. She's out of here. Oh, no, you don't. So... That's a good gun. It's not as good as my head. <laughs> See, I was only shooting you to give you a fighting... Oh. Actually, I was shooting you to avoid this. LOL. Okay. And that's why I don't charge at lie. Come on, we can't start dying now. I've spent this entire game being a powerhouse of ridiculousness. Now is not the time to start showing our vulnerability. You one hit killing sods. I still know you're behind there. It's hard to really hide an atlas with a smoke screen, you know. I have doubts about your strategy. Oh, was I hitting you the whole time? Sorry, a little gambit failed. Time to say goodnight. Now keep your eye out for the second one. Do 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 do. I'm gonna hide here. I see you, Mr. Second. Oh yeah, you thought you could just hide. You really thought you'd be sneaky with an atlas. Cerberus, I tell ya. You know, Edie, you could use your overload and I'd be fine with that. I guess I can... Nope, it literally won't... Oh, what are you protected by shields? There we go, come on, do it. Good. How you doing, robot? Seen better days. I didn't even try to dodge that, I just did. How do you feel? And I'm not even low on ammo. Now we can cause some real damage. <laughs> Don't even know what Falcon is. But it looks lovely. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along... Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. That sounds scrumptious. Sorry, I zoned out. I didn't listen to a thing you said, but I'm just going to follow all the fire and destruction. Which is completely the wrong way. Okay. Let's not follow the fire and destruction. Let's follow the dark and the red. Let's go, you say? Well, let's indeed. My charge better... Yeah, there you go. Whoop! My charge is holding true. That's all I ever wanted. All I ever needed. I'm afraid not. But it was a good attempt. Damn good. Whoop! Crutch punch! Really? Not impressed. Oh, I was on my way up. Thank you. Ooh, this sounds very elusive. We through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. All right, time for a blast from the past. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is...
is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. How did you not realize it was that bad? Pretty stark. You okay? I mean, this is the one thing I really don't get. Like, in Mass Effect 2, they made it incredibly explicit that you were dead, 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 dead. And then in the rest of Mass Effect 2, like after the start, a lot of people really sort of underplayed it. Like, oh yeah, Shepard was just knocked out for a bit. And now we've got it. Now we're here, and Shepard's like, oh, I didn't realize I was actually dead. And it's like, what's even happening? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know. You're real. A little crazy, maybe, but real. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help, so I played along. You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Good. Incursion team, what's your status? We cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. I never need support. I'm a rock. I'm a pillar of justice. I'm a lollipop of doom. Garrus. Garrus! I was about to say, oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm a lollipop of doom, ladies and gentlemen, and all non-binary peoples. I am just... I'm not with it today, really. This is the point of no return. This is the most important thing we've ever done, and I'm just like... Whoa! Right, but this time... You won't get the drop on me. Because this time... Ow, 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 ow! This time... I'm a monster. Haha! You stumble, and then you fall. Edie, I literally cannot go any faster than this. I don't think anyone could. I am doing damn well now. Alright, oh, hello. Better come up after me if you want to get me. Sorry. Just... If you were interested, the console nearby is still functional. Where? Where? I want consoles. Let's see what you've got, Serby. Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel. I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack? Well, that's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. 
ED was the four little boxes on the moon that we shot up. You sent so many drones after me. You dick. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. I guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with Organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, it, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice... Don't you start, Shepard. What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time we'll ensure it stays loyal. Oh, you poor sod. We were just talking about how screwed over you get in the party, and this just cements it. Because look what happened to Eva. You fuel. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... a joke. I know. And thank you. Right-o. Well. We learnt... I can bypass it. We learnt many things today. We Admiral, we're in deep, and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This is an Elysium, Shepard. I don't need a hero. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Today we learned that... Uh, shut up. All chefs, you're free to fire. <laughs> Today, we learned that when I died, I actually died. And we also learned that Edie is a moon bot. And we learn that I can steal more money from Cerberus. <laughs> Where am I going? This looks pretty central. Looks like the human proto reaper we killed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those colonists kidnapped, processed into that, and Cerberus hangs it up like a trophy. The elusive man convinced me to work with him to save the colonies, but he never really cared, did he? I think he did. He just cares more about studying it. The dead are only a statistic now. Somehow, that seems even worse. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Hmm, human batteries. I like it. Ben if anything, it looks even bigger than the time we fought it. Now, interesting little tidbit. Had we not done the Grissom Academy quest, we'd have just had to fight a phantomized Jack there. But luckily, I'm not completely useless, so Miranda will be the only casualty in this playthrough. Avoidable casualty, that is. Haha! <laughs> You're nothing to me, Cerberus. Nothing. Also, I love this. 